Okay, so I'm sure y'all see this picture right here. Wherever is it? It's gonna be up there. It ain't there now, but it'll be there by the time y'all see this video. Anyway, let's look at this picture. So I think they tried to do a thing with the prince and the popper, a pipe piper, popper, popper. However you say that shit, it's like a vagabond or a homeless person. It's a book. <laughs> okay, for those of you that don't know the reference, Google it. Okay, ignorant as hell. I, this, 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 when people talk about white supremacy for any of you white people out there, that or or or, or other non-black people that seem to not understand what black people are talking about when we say systematic racism and shit like that. Look, look at this. This is imagery. This is fucked up. Okay, why, why, why? Like, whatever. Anywho, let's talk about it, though. Because I've seen this a couple of times. But I, I read the comments. And some of the shit I can deal with. You know what I'm saying? I understand. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily want to make <clears throat> everything about race and talk about race all the motherfucking time. It's just not something that I want to do. But in my incarnation, in this motherfucking plane, I am black. And black people have... A unique set of issues, as do other cultures as well. When it comes to this systematic racism shit and the history, y'all know that shit is fucked up. Y'all know it's something that needs to be addressed. Y'all know it's something that, that humans need to really... I mean, we all know this, so it, it is what it is. But, here's the thing. In the spiritual community, there are people that live on different realms of consciousness, Okay. So, in, in one aspect of people's consciousness, you know what I'm saying, BMX passing away at the same time that this prince, whatever the fuck he is, dies, is some kind of sacrificial ritual. So, was he sacrificed so this nigga could get into heaven? Was he the sacrifice for uh, this dude having his soul transferred? Okay, so... I don't know if y'all remember, and I don't remember the title of the video, but there was a video where I was talking about how soul transfers happen, or at least one of the rituals for one. And it deals in sex magic. So, I don't really think that this is like, or if this is like some type of soul transfer ritual, um, I don't think it's one that I'm aware of, because from what I understand, and in my investigative research, <laughs> What you see, like this has to be done with the opposite sex. Like you would come transfer from one sex to another sex, and then would that make you transsexual? I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> the other one is, um, and then I don't know what this ritual would be. You know, I just see people saying it, but I'm I, I'm really trying to go with that particular. Uh, thought like I don't think that is like abnormal in a spiritual sense. Okay, uh, that it, like in a regular human sense, that shit weird as fuck. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? But in a spiritual sense, I don't necessarily think it's abnormal. I just don't think that it can necessarily happen. And then, why DMX? I mean. If you follow DMX and, and listen to some of the things that he said, although he had a lot of tragic things that went on in his life, like, dude had, like, one of the <clears throat> period hearts. Like, to listen to DMX speak is to listen to the, the spirit of God deliver a message. Like you just knew it when you heard it. You it, it, it was. He had a very pure heart, you know. Despite everything that was going on, despite all them crazy ass stories that people got, because people got stories about DMX and his crazy ass. Okay, but the heart. And you know, for those of you that came up in in, in, in the church. 
You know what I'm saying? It says God searches the heart. That's why we should not be judging people and shit. Because looking at the, looking at the exterior in the, in the actions that people do, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't always do the right thing. And it's not intentional that you don't do the right thing. Sometimes life just happens. You get caught up in the moment. And you make moves. You make moves without thinking. You make moves out of emotion. You make moves that sometimes you wish you could take back. Thank God for retrogrades. <laughs> You make, you know, things happen. So, when those things occur, um, what, what was your intent? You know, and it is still a double-edged sword. There is always a duality, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got the video out just in case somebody want to go search some shit and come back with some bullshit. Ah, uh, you said the road to hell is paved with good intentions. You can have good intentions, but you can still be led on a page. Road to hell. You know what I'm saying? That's, you need to think shit out. That's why we do divination and shit like that. Make sure that even though, you know, we doing this action, this action is going to yield a good result and not send us down a spiraling path of fucking destruction and misfortune. You know what I'm saying? But this shit right here, Bro, why they do this? And if DMX was sacrificed, was it because of the purity of his heart? Because I don't know any tradition where you can get into paradise. But would that really work on the other side? Like, are you able to utilize magic to affect what happens after a transition from this plane? Is that a thing that humans can do? Even utilize the magic? Is that a thing in the occult realms? It's the thing. I've not known anybody to come back. Now there have been people that have claimed that they are possessed by a spirit that has come back through their body. That's what a lot of people do with their channeling. But, you know, motherfuckers is crazy. And motherfuckers can say anything. And motherfuckers' imagination can, and imaginations can go anywhere. So you never really know. You know, there are several uh, videos and shit with people that done channel Tupac. It's people that's channeling XXX to Nation. Motherfuckers out here is channeling Nipsey Hussle. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's a lot of shit going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, test the spirit by the spirit is what I can say. But I can honestly say I've not seen anything that says definitely for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, this motherfucker come back and this how they did it. You know what I'm saying? They used this particular ritual in order to do so. It's not like I've met anybody that has done this and they say, oh, yeah, I've done this. I, I actually did a soul transfer and this ain't my body. I've never met nobody like that either. So, I don't know. It is still a very obscure and occult concept, which it should be because if indeed it is possible, everybody don't need that type of motherfucking information because humans and their code of ethics, morality, uh, a moral code, humans and their humanity. Humans and their humanity falters greatly when it comes to other humans and helping humans. When it comes to um, shit, sometimes the seven deadly sins. Alright, y'all know what the seven deadly sins is. I ain't finna sit up here and recount it. Go get your Bible and read it. Y'all probably know what it is. Just Google it. Seven deadly sins. Shit. Um, everybody's not able to, 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 to push out those temptations or fix those things. You know what I'm saying? So, it be what it is. But, If these things do happen, then why? Why sacrifice DMX? 
how? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. To me, it don't make no damn sense. Uh, death usually comes in threes. You know, so I'm waiting on somebody else's ass to drop. <clears throat> That's usually how they go. So, um, unless somebody else done died and we just don't know because it's a lot of people in the world and it's not like I wake up looking for dead people every day. These people just happen to be in the public eye and maybe the third person is not as visible. You know what I'm saying? That's not to say that everybody else that have died in the past 72 hours is not important. Please do not interpret that that way. Just saying, as far as the celebrity circles go and the public and the world and all of this, if you're, these are the two most significant deaths right now in everybody's mind and, and, and the people that everybody knows type deal. And so, there we go. But I just seen this and I was like, yeah, I, there's a lot of talk of soul transfers uh, going on. Um, it is, it's crazy. But, I don't know, that's weird. And that's going to lead me to another topic on another video that I need to talk to y'all about. And I might talk to y'all about that when I do the makeup. So, y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light. And I'll see you next video. If you are in need of spiritual services or products, check us out at sunkissspiritualconsulting.com.